Hello, I am Dr. Kyrie of Kyrie's Cookies, and we are going places with Rick Rollins. This is Going Places. Interesting people doing interesting things in interesting places, and we want you to come along. Good morning. I hope your morning is amazing. Kyrie, thanks, and we'll talk to you in just a little bit. Here's what's coming up on today's show. Kyrie's Cookies is one of Oprah's favorite things. You'll find out why. We'll get fit in five with Coach Julie, and the doc is in the house. We'll talk with Dr. Tracy. All of this and more coming up, you guessed it, right now on this edition of Going Places. Dr. Kyrie Mosley is a PhD who spent most of her professional life in the medical field. But yes. one day she had this brilliant idea. I'm gonna make some cookies. And <laughs> what cookies they are. And we'll talk about the cookies in just a moment. Ky Dr. Kyrie, I thank you for being here on Going Places. Thank you. I I'm excited you that we can make me. this happen. You're more than welcome, yes. you're more than welcome. So let's mm -hmm. talk a little bit about what you did prior to becoming the cookie maven that you are. Uh, yes. So you worked, as I said in my introduction, you worked in the AIDS and HIV field, and predominantly yes. in the hep C area, helping yes. make sure that that, that we understood this disease, et cetera, et cetera. Let's take it from there. Well, understood the disease and made sure that um, patients were safe. So my focus is compliance, healthcare compliance. Mm -hmm. And I spent 30 years just focusing on um, ensuring patient safety. And so oh. that was um, where it all began for me, uh, 30 years in healthcare. And then I transitioned in 2009 to baking cookies but this was not my business. This was literally um, an opportunity to encourage the troops. And so in 2009, my son and I began baking cookies for the troops. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. So, so we, we spent 30 years, we go into mm -hmm. baking cookies for the troops mm -hmm. and did other people get to taste the cookies? Is that why you didn't know that we need to do something they with these did. cookies? <laughs> yes, for 12 years, actually, I shared them with the nurses and doctors that I worked with, and I also focused on essential workers, so the teachers and um, anyone, firefighters. It was just fun, just making sure that people who were serving us had the opportunity to be encouraged. So that was my focus and continues to be my focus today. Well, uh, let me tell you something. If let me, let me, I know we're going to show a picture of the cookie, but I want you to understand something. Because, see, I have told people if they touch these cookies, they're dying. Okay? <laughs> they're, they're not from the cookie, but from me. Okay, look at this. Do you see how big this cookie is? Now, yes. I'm going to be honest. We didn't have a chance to taste the cookies because I was like, mm -hmm. nobody touches the cookies. Because I said, if anybody touches the cookies, we're going to have a problem because the presentation <laughs> has to be right. But I am going to you. tell you, I'm going to talk about this cookie in a minute. Because mm -hmm. not only is it a, the, first of all, the packaging is wonderful. And Thank you. then on top of that, it's just the care that I know that went into each of these cookies. Yes. So let's talk about this. Let's talk, let's talk. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Mm -mm. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. okay. so I'll... let's, okay, you go. <laughs> it's okay. I was just simply going to say that they are made with organic ingredients as well. And so okay. baking is something I love doing. I start with mill, you know, milling grains, making my own mm -hmm. flour. And this is something I always did with my children. And so in deciding to transition into business, I decided to keep my recipes consistent and serve organic cookies to the public as well. Oh, well, uh, look, I have read the reviews. I've seen <laughs> what people say about the cookies. And there's one particular person that I want to talk about, but we're going to get to her a little bit later. And, awesome. <laughs> and, and, and she says that they're oh so delicious. So there's your cube. <laughs> there's your there's your clue, viewers. But let's talk about this, Dr. So you get you get to this point where you are now making cookies and people are talking about the cookies. Mm -hmm. When did you realize this is a business? Because you said this was not your business in the beginning. No. When did you, when did the light bulb, when did the, here's the second clue, the aha moment come and you knew this is a business. Yes, well, honestly, from the very beginning, when I would send them to the troops, they would send letters back to me and tell me you should share these with the rest of the world. Oh, wow. But because I was in the medical field, I just decided it wasn't time. Um, what happened was in 2019, 
I was diagnosed with a rare stage four cancer mm. and uh, went through a rigorous battle. When I went into remission, I decided that, you know what, life is really short and yes. I want to do something that can bring joy to people. And so I decided, hey, I'm going to start my cookie company. So it was way before that, that I believed it was a business opportunity, mm -hmm. but it wasn't until becoming sick and going through that, that I decided to step out and move forward with my vision. As my friends would say, you stepped out the boat and I didn't did. look back. So mm -mm, I, uh, I want, so did, you talked about the rare form of cancer. Was that when you said, like you said, you said life is too short and I'm mm -hmm. going to do the things that I want to do? Because you know, in a lot of instances, like you said, for 30 years, you were kind of, you let the job govern you. And, That's and it was, and so, mm -hmm. And you were doing this on the side, you know. That's correct. And, so and not even selling them on the side, just giving them just away. Just giving so. them away. You see? Mm -hmm. But see, yeah. your gift makes room for you. And, yes. and you know, because when you were talking, I, I kept hearing that over and over again. And her gift mm -hmm. made room for her. And a gift made room for her. Mm -hmm. So you you end up, you end up with, you know what? Let, I'm going to ask you this question. Then we're going to come back because we're going to break and then we're coming back. Yes. So uh, mm -hmm. when you heard the words, you have cancer, what, what was the first thing that came to mind? My children. Okay. Okay. And what was I, that? I just, well, when I learned, I learned immediately that it was stage four. Mm. And I thought, this isn't good. You know, they said it's in your pelvic wall and it's also wow. in your lungs. And wow. so the expectation was that I wasn't going to make it. And I went to various different doctors and uh, wind up at Emory um, Winship mm. and uh, Dr. Reed. He told me, hey, this is this is going to be rough. And if you want to fight, then fight it will be for the rest. Like, really, you're fighting for your life at this point. And um, I could just think about my kids, that I wasn't ready to leave them. Mm -hmm. um, and I just began to pray and just beg God to give me a chance to have a second, a second chance at life. And he did. And, and we know that God answered the prayer. And we want to talk about post-cancer and yes. how she did and the decision to live her life, a life that has got, garnered much attention from a certain Oprah Winfrey. We'll talk about that when we come back right after this. None of us has ever gotten anywhere without help. Introducing the Nonprofit Collective. There'll be nearly five million pounds of food distributed in Tampa Bay. The Nonprofit Collective is a place for our community to come together. We serve veterans and their families. Help at your fingertips, where community heroes reach out to make a difference. Who comes into this market? Our friends and neighbors. And where those who need help find help. The Nonprofit Collective, only on RHS TV. I got the cookie. Okay. So will it be here? You ready, Doc? You ready, Doc? I'm ready. Oh my reason. <laughs> this <laughs> is amazing. So y'all forgive me. But okay, I'm gonna make it work. So Oprah says that the founder Beyond this box of glorious cookies, chocolate chunk, oatmeal, cran raisin, Georgia pecan turtle, which is what I'm eating and it is amazing, and more, promises a hug in every bite, and she's not wrong. When Oprah tells you, when Oprah says that, everybody listens. Mm -hmm. What did you think when you read that for the first time? Honestly, um, I cried because I'm like, that's what she feels. It's not what everyone thinks she said, but it's exactly what she said. Mm. And the goal of Kyrie's Cookies has always been to allow people to feel loved, feel special, feel hugged 
um, from the inside is what we say, you get hugs from the inside. And um, it just made me feel like incredibly special and um, just honored that she would even take a chance and present my product and that she enjoyed it. That just means the world to me. So you're an Oprah Daily. Is it Oprah Daily? It's Oprah, uh, Oprah Daily. It com, <laughs> But you're one of her favorite things. I'm right? one of her favorite things, yes. Well, this is not one of my favorite things. And you're one of my favorite <laughs> people, okay? So Thank you. when you were talking about the, the cookie making people feel loved, I want to bounce back for a second. <laughs> when you were going through your cancer battle, I know that that's something that you must have needed, was love yeah. and people rooting you on. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the battle for a second, because we, we come out of uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I think they should just call it Cancer Awareness Month. I'm no, no shade to anybody. Mm -hmm. But at the same right. time, there's all kinds of cancer. This was a rare form mm -hmm. of cancer. The doctor yes. said you were in for the battle of your life. Yes, that's Let's correct. talk about that. Let's talk about how you won that battle. Well. First and foremost, I won that battle through my relationship with God. So just mm. to be completely honest, that is what carried me through. Um, unlike a lot of other cancers, this particular treatment plan required 120 hours of treatment consecutively. Wow. And so each session, um, my doctor would admit me into Emory Hospital and they would treat me for five to seven days mm. nonstop. And so the wow. infusions it was it was very um it was very difficult um mm. but like like the old folks would say no it's okay because you don't look like what you've been through and when you come when you get on the other side of that battle there's a determination to live your life like you've never lived it before and it's yes. in these cookies it's <laughs> in these you. cookies the way i mean first of all they're, they're huge y'all see how big that cookie is you you ain't getting big it's cookies a like six that. Ounce cookie. The mm. average cookie is one point five ounces, and all of our cookies are six ounces. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you something. I love me some Kyrie's cookies. The doctor, honey, she is the cookie doctor. She is the Willy Wonka <laughs> of cookies. Okay, so doctor, Thank you. Um, how has life changed since Oprah made that? Because we, I, let me go back. Your life changed because of the diagnosis, and then you changed yes. life because of the diagnosis. I, I know that about you. And so there was a determination to live, and like I said, I, I see all of that grit and that fiber uh, and that fortitude in these cookies. Because you couldn't make cookies like this if you didn't have a passion for this and for people. So let's talk yeah, about that. I love people. I, I simply love people. I've been this way my entire life. My goal is always been to encourage people, make them smile, um, and I love to cook. And so I, I use my gift of cooking um, to encourage people. I feel like it's definitely my love language. And um, I, um, since the battle, it's difficult because I still have an aftermath from the battle. Mm -hmm. I have a mm -hmm. lot of nerve damage on my right side. Mm -hmm. I had to learn to walk again. So wow. That aftermath is real, but mm -hmm. through it all, like when I get the encouragement from my guests that come in, I open my first brick and mortar New Year's Eve. Congratulations. So one years old. Congrats. <laughs> and it, it fills my spirit like nothing else to have people come in and to have the opportunity to serve them. And that's what I love to do. So I bring their cookies to the table. I talk to them about their lives and um, it has just been a blessing to be able to give back um, of myself. Well, you know what I've you are, I was going to say, you are the blessing. I want you to know that you are the blessing. We just met on camera, but I feel like I have a friend. So the next time I'm in your city, I'm coming yeah. in, but yeah, so I want, I want to thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look, I love it. Does it look like I've missed any meals? No. <laughs> okay. So, but look, I would love to do that. And, uh, anytime you want to come back, if we're debuting a new cookie, Come back. If you want, if you got something you, you want to talk about, come back. I really love it. So let's tell people how we can find the cookies. Go ahead. They can go to our website at kyriescookies.com, which is K-Y-R-I-S-K-O-O-K-I-E-S.com. And we'd love to have you. We love the opportunity to, to serve you in this manner.
Thank you. Okay, great, 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 great. Mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you something. The QR code is still up on the screen. Order the cookies. Somebody that you love, make sure you send them a box of love from Dr. Kyrie. Yeah. Thank you for being with us. I appreciate you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Take care Thank now. You so much. I'm gonna finish my cooking. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye bye. These cookies are gonna be the reason we need to get fit in five. Stay tuned. Sunburst Inn, your perfect beachfront getaway. Escape to the only private beachfront hotel in Indian Shores, featuring 12 uniquely decorated guest rooms. Our newly renovated tropical paradise is a chic, beachy, boutique destination. Perfect for the entire family with plenty to do, including water activities, bikes, grilling, and more. Bring your furry friends too. Make memories at Sunburst Inn. Book your unforgettable beachfront getaway today. Hi, it's me, Coach Julie, and we are here today with another segment of Fit in Five. If you're like me, for Thanksgiving, I'm confessing, I ate a little bit too much, and that got me to thinking about my core. My core being this area right through here, and how I can keep that nice and strong as we head into the Christmas holidays. Um, now, keep in mind, you can't spot train but you can train different muscles and different areas. And it, in addition to an overall workout program, it works just fine. So two things to keep in mind. One, if you're going to spot train, make sure you're doing a full exercise program, working your entire body. And two, if you have not worked out in some time, talk to your doctor first. All right, before you start a program. All right, we're going to get started. Today's segment it's called, even though it's fit and five, it's called bands, bands, balls, and bellies. So we're going to start with this, the band, and we're going to get into what we call a bicycle crunch position. I'm wrapping this band around my feet. As you can see, I'm going to lie back, place my fingertips behind my head. My legs start in this position, and all I'm doing now and you may have seen this before, the crunch, but this crunch has a band. So what we're doing is taking this leg out into the elbow, opposite knee to the elbow, just like that. Three more, two more, one more. All right, that gives the bicycle crunch a little extra pizzazz. Next, ball. This is the bender ball. Now the bender ball you can find on Amazon, the band as well, single band or package of bands in different strengths on Amazon. But this, band, this ball, nice little squishy ball, place that ball right here at the lower back. I'm gonna lean back just a bit, fingertips behind the head again. And this time we're taking it up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You can go to the elbow, to the knee, similar to the bicycles. Ooh, I feel that. Three more. Three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ooh, that's a good one. The bender ball. And this is a physio ball or a therapy ball. But this one, also, we're going to work the core with this. I'm going to lie back again, all the way back this time, stretching my legs out somewhat. And what I'm doing now, trying to keep that ball nice and secure between my ankles. And we're going to take it up, reach back, bring it up again, bring it down, up, back, and down. Ooh. Up, back, and down three more times. Up, two more times, two, ha. Woo, why did I say three more? And one, up, and down. All right, let me get up, oh, wow. That was pretty intense, but if we're going for core training, those three 
with the bender ball, the physio or therapy ball, and the exercise resistance band. That'll get you just what you're looking for, just to your goal. So, um, again, these are available on Amazon. And next time, we'll be talking about gift ideas. These could be gift ideas. But we'll be talking about gift ideas for the person who's interested in starting an exercise program in January. All right. See you next time. Thanks a lot, Coach Julie. When we come back, the doc is in the house. Dr. Tracy joins us right after this. Youth News Network for Gen Z by Gen Z. From the RHS TV studios, we're bringing you the freshest content that matters to you. Find us on social media at WatchYNN or watch full episodes on RHS TV. I almost went on a date with someone who was possibly a murderer. Oh my God! Oh! Dating hazards and mishaps. I want just a text back. No question, no doubt about it. It's a fine. Check out Dating in America on RHS TV. The doc is in and she's back with us again is Dr. Tracy Thompson from Dr. Tracy's house. We said that we would talk this time about self-advocacy and you brought up some interesting points as we went out last time. So let's start, let's just hit the ground running, doc. <laughs> okay, okay. It is so important when you go to the doctors mm -hmm. that you ask those questions that you may be afraid yes. to ask. Um, have a list with you. Um, it's always amazing to me when you may have a pain and, and it's going on for a couple of days and by the time you go to see your healthcare provider, the pain is gone and you forgot and you forget to even talk yeah. about the pain. It's like um, going to your car. <laughs> yeah, when you go and take it to the mechanic, it won't do what it's supposed to yes. do. I agree with that. Yes. Would you yes, also yes. say that for our seniors to take somebody with them so if somebody's mm -hmm. almost catching Absolutely. the notes? Correct, most definitely, especially mm. when it's a, a big diagnosis that's happening. Um, yes. If someone is getting the results of a test that may not be um, very positive, it could be a diagnosis that there's heart failure or there's cancer, I can tell you people's minds shut down and they don't hear what's next. And that's so true. having that up. Uh, Having that person there, and sometimes it could be that person on the phone. Um, I always tell my family members to feel free to call me, and they do. They call me <laughs> when they're at the doctor's office so that I can listen in and then I can help translate. That's a huge thing that wow. in terms of advocacy, you know, advocating for yourself. If you don't understand what someone says or they say a word that you don't understand, please speak up and say, can you please explain it so that I can understand? And That's then we true. do this we do this um, thing where we're trying to teach somebody either to do a new procedure or, we're, mm -hmm. uh, or even kids, we want them to teach back. So we tell them what we've t told them and then say, okay, tell me what I just told you so that oh, you like can that. understand. Yeah. Yes, so that you can understand to make sure they got the information, especially if it's changing new medications or that there's a decision that needs to be made. Um, having someone there that can listen mm -hmm. and that can also ask those questions because sometimes you you feel uncomfortable asking questions. So right. really have bringing somebody with you or even calling on the phone and saying, here, I want you to repeat that. I have my exactly. niece, I have my daughter on the phone. It's very exactly. important. And you know, because when I was taking care of my mom, that was one of the things I made sure that I was at every doctor's appointment because mm -hmm. there would be things that she wouldn't remember. There were some things that she also would edit because she didn't <laughs> want to worry me. So then, it, and there were some things that she would tell the doctor, like he'd ask her, are you still smoking? She's like, I haven't had a, I was like, don't you lie. <laughs> you told, you told <laughs> yes. me, don't lie. you know, and that's when the child becomes the parent. But I just think yes. it's so important. Yes. And I love what you said, asking the question. So let's go over this, asking the questions to, that you don't understand, uh, you know, getting Correct. a better definition, taking someone with you, writing down the questions and having them and even chronicling, because uh, you said this, I think last week, that, that we should talk, we should journal what's going on. I felt this pain when I did, or I felt Correct. it at this time, or I felt this way after I took my medication, because maybe some of your meds aren't working well together. 
Yes. And the key, yes. And the key to this and, and what, how I was trained, it's the art of medicine and it's the history taking. So taking the time to listen, to ask those questions and asking open-ended questions and, and to really probe, to really see what's going on. Um, and if you don't understand, I'm going to say stand up for yourself and say, I'm not going to leave until I can understand what's love going it. on. Love it, love and it, love so it, Dr. It, Tracy. You, you really have to advocate for yourself. Because, and I'm not, I'm not throwing shade, but there are some doctors <laughs> that are very arrogant and think that they, that, you know, they're impatient. I had a doctor when my mother was, uh, we were thinking about this procedure for her. And I looked him in his face and I said, Doc, if it was your mother, would you do this? And he said, mm -hmm. no. And my thing was, well, fool, why are you asking me or <laughs> yes. telling my mom that she should do it? And I think that you have to have somebody that's not going to necessarily be confrontational, but that is going to, if the person does not feel comfortable standing up for themselves, have somebody there that's going, like you said, ask the tough questions. Yes. Okay. And I recently, you know, at my job, I recently said, you have to explain it like you're explaining it to your grandmother. So right. you don't use, again, big words, and you take your time, and you really describe what's going on so that your grandmother will be, under, be able to understand it. I, I think that's amazing. So, Dr. Tracy, what are we going to talk about next time? So next time we're going to talk about cancer screening. Mm. Next time. Okay, because you know yeah. everybody thinks October was breast cancer. There's all kind of cancers, and you definitely need yeah. to do screening. And Doc, I want you to be thinking about this. Have you heard of those body scans? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want. Can you? When we are together the next time, we can we talk about that and how those work? Okay. Okay. Very uh, yeah, because I'm thinking about having that done before the first of the year, and so I want to make sure that my doc says it's okay. <laughs> Dr. Tracy Thompson, okay. as always, for more information about Dr. Tracy's house, here comes the QR code, and we'll be back right after this. Have you been interesting places or met some interesting people? I'd love to hear about it. We're doing a new segment called Wish You Were Here. All I need to do is send me five images to the address on the bottom of the screen. And in the soon coming day, we could be talking to you right here in the studio. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this morning's show. We'll be back next week talking with interesting people, doing interesting things in interesting places. Until then, on behalf of everyone here at Going Places, be blessed on your journey. We'll see you soon. Take care.